As annual meetings of the three vice premier level mechanisms, all the talks are held in China and Singapore alternately. Singapore took the turn this year. At the 12th meeting of China-Singapore Joint Council for Bilateral Cooperation, Singapore has agreed to further promote the international use of the renminbi. Under new initiatives, the existing cross-border RMB initiatives between Singapore and the China-Singapore Suzhou Industrial Park and the Sino-Singapore Tianjin Eco City will be expanded to the cities of Suzhou and Tianjin. The expansion will give more financing options to Suzhou and Tianjin companies and provide financial institutions and investors in Singapore additional avenues to deploy their growing RMB liquidity in Singapore. The two sides have also agreed to speed up the negotiations of a third intergovernmental project in Western China, so as to launch its construction at an early date. Both sides view the new project as a strategic cooperation project between the two countries. They expressed the hope that the cooperation could form a network and play a big role in the social and economic development in the vast western part of China. The two sides have also reached a broad consensus on issues including the upgrading of a bilateral free trade agreement, economic transformation, financial cooperation, cultural and people-to-people -people exchanges, as well as sustainable development. The two countries signed four documents of cooperation, including the establishment of the China Cultural Center in Singapore. Jiang's visit came as the two countries celebrated the 25th anniversary of forging diplomatic ties earlier this month. He is also the first Chinese leader to visit Singapore in the wake of Singapore's general election in September. Upon arrival on Monday, Jiang met with his Singaporean counterpart Tian Chi Hien. On Tuesday afternoon, he met with Singaporean President Tony Tan Kung Yam and Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong.